Have you ever wondered what would happen to your sales career if you combined other skill sets? There is a high probability that most of you won't be here in a year. And even a higher probability you won't be here in five years. Most of you will use sales as a vehicle to achieve and expand beyond closing deals online. Right? So by the end of this video, I will show you three ways to unify your sales with other skill sets to increase your value in the job market. In the last six months, what I've been doing is investing my time and energy to make a full-time income doing something else than just closing deals online, right? And level up. And if you stick around in this video, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing to replace my remote closing income. And as I'm replacing my income, my mission with this channel is to provide the best remote closing content here on YouTube. What others will charge $10,000 for or hide behind a paywall, I'm giving away for free. All from my three year closing experience. I know it's not a lot, but three years you can learn a lot. You can learn the fundamentals, right? And the fundamentals, it's what's important because if you are new and you learn the fundamentals from watching these videos, you are able to start and accelerate your own path. But the hardest step of them all is the first step. It's the zero to one. But once you've reached the first step, you can accelerate your growth. And that's the entire, you know, dream for me with this channel that you can take the first step and you grow from there, right? Grow past me. So my all experiences and lessons I've taken with me, I'm going to share all of them on this channel. So stick around for more. So let's just dive in. Once you have acquired the fundamentals of sales, right, you will be able to easily make anywhere from 7,000 a month to 10,000 a month closing with a decent company. From acquiring the fundamentals, right, there are various of career choices from here. The first and obvious path is that you continue building this career as a remote closer and you aim aiming for 20,000 a month or more, 30,000 a month or more, 40,000 a month or more, right? Every single month closing, just closing and then you go and live your life, right? The first step that I'm doing to, you know, combine my skills is learning marketing, is learning copywriting, media buying, funnels offer creation, content writing, SEO, social media, video editing, graphics, analytics, combining marketing and sales to increase my value in the job market. The reason this is important for me is because I value the entirety of business. I value the entirety, entirety of a buyer's journey. Sales is the beginning of the end of the buyer's journey. So sales is right over here, but the bar is right over here. So what's happening right over here? The buyer's journey started long before your first touch, right? And your first touch is when a lead is created. But what happened before the lead was even created? So when you learn marketing and you can implement marketing strategies to go to the market, right? Everything that happens before it becomes a lead. All together with sales understanding, closing the gap between product and customer in a business, dude, you'll become a weapon for any business and company you well decide to step into or decide to work with. For me, when you master customer acquisition, you control it. And when you can control customer acquisition within a company, that holds a lot of value. And that naturally comes with additional responsibilities that most sales reps do not want to deal with. When I started in sales, these responsibilities of while well, the entire customer acquisition, I couldn't care less about knowing and doing. All I wanted to show was to show up, take my calls, do some outbound dives, set meetings, close deals, make money and go to sleep, right? That's all I wanted to do. So as you progress, you will create new goals, and this could possibly be one of them. My goals have always been to, well, be a viable asset for the company, right? And as I've done sales, sales is a super highly valuable uh, skill set for the company. But I'm noticing that, hey, 
my potential is should not be limited by just knowing sales. I want to tackle mastering the entire customer acquisition. And I've done sales for a few years now, nothing, nothing to flex, right? Nothing to flex, but I feel like it's time to step up and level up. But if your goal is to do exactly that, what I've you know explained to you to work remotely, have minimum responsibilities, sell as much as you can, go to sleep, maintain a good living by working a fraction of your day, remote closing is very well worth it. Still very well worth it, right? If you want to start a business later on as well, sales is also a great skill to start with and to learn. And especially being in environments with other sales reps is super inspiring, right? Sales people have super high ambitions and goals. And there's nothing negative about that, but just that energy, energy in teams of everybody going and get it, you know, hitting their goals, doing everything that they can. That environment have influenced me a lot, which these goals are coming from, right? So moving on to the next combination is perhaps the most natural progression as those skill sets work so well together, yet there's not many people that really talk about it. And that is re revenue operations and sales, right? So you've gone sales and now you want to do revenue operations. So this position is pretty much working on aligning the sales team, the marketing team and fulfillment team into like a well-oiled machine instead of just these all three different teams. Now we work as one single team, right? And you become like this glue between all of them, right? You know, I'm going to bring up like an example here to uh, maybe you can relate, right? If you have been working as a sales rep and close on several funnels like I have, and you are, let's just bring up an, an example, right? So you're going by your day, day to day, hopping on meetings, talking to prospects and closing deals. All of a sudden you notice there is changes in the quantity of meetings that are being booked on each and every single one uh, of our calendars and the quality of people that are interested. So you have your sales meetings, you try to fix the problems, you suggest a couple of strategies, a couple of, um, couple of ways you can handle those conversations and maybe bring up the problems or uh, flush out the uninterested people very early on, wh whatever we might do. But the volume is decreasing. And now we say it's the marketing team's fault, right? They are the problem. And the marketing team isn't too happy either because they say the sales team can't close. Right. We have all these people that, 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 that are going through the funnel, but nobody's closing deals. Right. So it be, be, becomes this back and forth, you know, conflict between the teams. So the revenue operations is pretty much put in this position to address this issue by aligning revenue targets, um, goals, changes and strategies. So this person overlooks overall data through the entire buyer's journey, both in the marketing and the sales team and even fulfillment and find ways to improve those systems and processes. In sales, it could be looking at the operations and seeing if we can shorten the buyer's journey, resulting in a quicker sale and less friction. In marketing, it could be, hey, say, let's just add like a lead magnet that addresses these fears and objections before the prospect gets on a call. That way, when they meet our sales team, the prospect is more prepared and hopefully more interested in buying the product. In fulfillment, it could be, hey, let's deliver the service and product better and efficiently and let's find systems to make that happen. That that way, when it comes to renewals, the customer is with us long term. That way, if the product has no renewal, the customer is a raving fan. Tells us all about the amazing support to his business connections to all his friends and all of a sudden now we have referrals. So this revenue operations person makes sure that all three teams, you know, in contact with in direct contact with the customers work smoothly together. So if you have experience as a sales rep, expanding your skill set towards this analytical and management aspect is a great transition to increase your value in the marketplace. 
but before deciding whether or not to grow into operations or grow into marketing, there is one thing that salespeople will completely leave and leave and and learn last, right? This this is usually at the bottom of the list, but it should be one of the first thing you learn alongside sales, and that is copywriting. I know I mentioned marketing before, but marketing I mentioned it as more full stack, but copywriting as a skill, right? Copywriting is sales, but in written format. And when you think about it, we salespeople, we are not just professional talkers. We are also professional writers. We write emails, we write text messages, call reminders. I have worked around automations as a sales rep, as a setter. You know, automations when it comes to, you know, scheduling a sales call with me, an email would automat automatically send a resource for them to prepare for the call. And the company had no resource like that. I had to go around and create that resource myself. And when you create something like that, or you write um, email automations and email sequences, copywriting is a very good skill set to have because you, you, you know, the the closing on on text is still the same format, right? But it has different frameworks that you need to learn to really persuade someone in written format the best way. So you you have persuasive language in your um, in your resource and in the email. So when you have someone go through all of that, they are way more primed up to talk with you. And if someone realizes that, hey, this might actually not be a good fit. Like I'm not, I'm, I, I don't have, I, 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 I don't have the problems that these guys solve. They just go out. They just, you know, flush themselves out of the funnel. So you talk with the people who are interested and in these, you know, these two match, right? So there's a lot of things that you can use copywriting. There's one thing, one highlight within my career where I really started to look at like frameworks of copywriting. And that was when I was setting five months in, in, uh, with the tech company, I looked at, cause I was calling all the leads and the, the, I, I ran off, ran out of leads to call and I was triple dialing, double dialing and the list ended. So I was looking at, well, what is the best way? Like I was asking the business owner, like what other things could I do? And it was showing me like old, like dead leads that wasn't even brought to me in the first place. And it was six months old and three years old that nobody really have touched. I was like, man, I could, I could revive them. So I made an email sequence as I've sent out the emails. I called all of them myself through phone right? Reconnecting with them. But the email set everything up, right? I was emailing resources. I was circling back with them. I was seeing notes within the CRM and then I would follow up based on the notes. So having some knowledge of how to sell through written text is a great synergy on top of your sales skills. I only use copywriting as a supporting pillar to what I did in sales. But if you ask me if I would do that full time, you know, writing emails full time, no way, no way. I, 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 you know, for me, I think writing emails full time is uh, kind of boring. So combining that with sales is the only way that I do it. But combining other skills with sales is just the first step to maximize your value and make more money not just by commissions, but retainers and all kinds of deals. And that is exactly why I have put together a completely free remote sales guide here on YouTube with over 90 minutes of content showing everything that you need to know to land a high income sales position in just 30 to 60 days. So check that video out and it will show you, you know, what you'll learn, how it works, how to use the information inside to make remote closing your full time career. And if it's not your full-time career, at least land a, uh, a role with a decent 
company to close with if you've made anywhere from four to five and now you want to level up and find even better companies that video is a great resource i'll put it right here or right over here